And Molly, still many unanswered questions, including what led to the shooting that we saw left many families shaken as they rushed to pick up their kids today. In fact, the co-owners of the daycare tell me that something needs to be done about the crime on that block. They're calling on police and the mayor's office for help. We're just here to do our job and do good quality care for our families. And then this is what we have to deal with. About 24 kids were inside A for Apple Learning Center in Seattle's Central District for snack time when officials say gunfire erupted out front. At first I heard pop, pop, pop. What was going through your mind? I just immediately said, you guys army crawl, teachers army crawl, I think you've been shot. A bullet pierced through the Learning Center window. Co-owner Apollonia Washington confirms no one inside was hurt, adding, unfortunately, the kids had already practiced what to do in case of an emergency like a shooting. They were crawling to the bathroom on their stomachs just in case of an emergency, just army crawl. And they did that. They hid behind um, a wall in the bathroom. As panicked parents rushed to pick up their kids, Investigators marked off the bullet casings on 23rd near Jackson. Seattle police confirm a 47 year old man was shot multiple times and taken to the hospital, though it's still unclear what led to the gunfire and whether the daycare was an intended target. Co-owners of the Longtime Learning Center tell us they don't feel the same support from the city they proudly serve. I don't want to ever experience this again. Can we get patrol? Can we get officers walking by. We took their concerns to city officials. SPD says it will have extra patrols in the area, including police and community service officers. We're known out in the community for serving the community. I need the support of protection. Yes. So my families and my staff, and we can feel okay walking these streets every day. And a spokesperson with the mayor's office sent us a statement in response to the violence today. They say they are continuing to work to hire more officers and that the mayor's proposed budget includes investments in reducing gun violence. As for this investigation, anyone with information about possible suspects right now, there are no suspect leads. You are urged to call SPD's violent crimes tip line. That's 206-233-5000. For now, live in Seattle, Jackie Kent. Come on news.